Hello everybody. So today I wanted to show you how you can fix the Microsoft 365 Copilot giving you an error on your Windows computer. So let's go over to the computer now and I'm going to show you all the steps you have to take in order to fix the Microsoft 365 Copilot. Okay, so as you can see on my Windows 10 computer, it's giving me a Microsoft 365 Copilot error. It says, sorry, we ran into a problem loading this app. Please reload the app or try another time. Now, if I go ahead and I click reload the app, you'll notice it's trying and it did actually pull it up. But why does that keep happening where you have to click reload the app? So let me show you a couple of steps that you can take in order for that not to happen on your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and close the Microsoft 365 Copilot. And then what you can do is you can click on the start button and then you want to scroll down on the list of apps. And if you'll see right here is the Microsoft 365 Copilot. Well, if you right click on it, you can go to more. And then you can go to app settings. Now this is going to pull up the settings for the Microsoft 365 Copilot. And what we're going to do is you can either terminate the program. And then you can open it up again. And that most likely would fix that error message. You can also go ahead and repair the Microsoft 365 Copilot. Now if you repair it. It's going to go in there and try to fix the program without deleting any of the data that you have associated with the Microsoft 365 Copilot. So if you've signed in and you've done a lot of work on it, all that information is still going to be there once it repairs it. Now, if you go ahead and you click repair and it's not able to repair it for some reason. So if you happen to go and you click on repair, and it gives you an error message, then just drop down and go ahead and click on the reset. But hopefully repair will do exactly what mine just did, which is give you the little circle, and then it's going to give you the check once it's finished, saying that it repaired it. So now if I go ahead and click on start, and I scroll down, and I open up the Microsoft 365 Copilot, now, see it says setting things up, almost there. And it's just another moment. And it's going through. And now it just finished opening it up. So I can go ahead and sign in or create my free account. Well, I already have an account. But I could go ahead and sign into it. Now, if for some reason that didn't fix it and yours is still giving you an error, go ahead and click reset. Now, when you click reset, it's going to remove all the app's data, including any preferences and sign-in details. So if you were previously signed into the Microsoft 365 Copilot, when you reset it, you're going to have to sign into it again. But that's okay if it fixes the problem with your Microsoft 365 Copilot. So go ahead and click reset, and it's going to go and it's going to spin, and then in just a moment it'll give you a check, and then you'll be able to open it up, and you'll have to sign in again, but it should fix that Microsoft 365 Copilot. So if I go back down to start and I scroll back down on the list and I go into the 365 Copilot, see it's setting it up again for me, almost there. And now it went and it gave me an error. And then, of course, after the error showed up, then it went to the sign in or create a free account page. But it took it just a second. Now, if for some reason you go ahead and you do a repair, and you do a reset, and it still hasn't fixed it. What I would suggest at that point is I would tell you to uninstall it, and then you're going to go ahead and reinstall it. So you can go ahead and click uninstall, and that's okay. Just go ahead and tell it to uninstall, and it's going to remove this Microsoft 365 Copilot from your computer. Now, I'm going to go ahead and close this window, and then I'm going to go to the Start button. And I'm going to scroll down on the list, and you'll see that the Microsoft 365 Copilot is gone. Now, in order to get it back, you just open up the Microsoft Store. And then once it opens up, 
we're going to go to the search bar at the very top and we're going to search for that Microsoft 365 Copilot. So right up here, if you'll click in the search apps, games, and more, you can type in Microsoft 365 Copilot and press enter. And then it's going to give you a list of results here. Now, as you can see, the very first one is the Microsoft 365 Copilot. So we're going to go ahead and click on Get, and it's going to automatically download and install it. Now, if it gives you this error message, just go ahead and click Close, because if you'll notice in the background, it was still trying to download it. Okay, so one thing I noticed is if you're on this screen and you tell it to Get, and you're still getting an error message where it pops up and it says that it can't be completed, just go ahead and click on the Microsoft 365 Copilot. And then once you get to this screen, go ahead and click on Get. And once you click Get, it's going to download and install it. For some reason, it's having trouble when you click on Get on that first page, it's having trouble downloading and installing Microsoft 365 Copilot. But as soon as you go into the actual Microsoft 365 Copilot page and tell it to get, then it works perfectly. It doesn't give you any errors. So as you can see, mine has finished installing. So now I can click on open. And it also put it back down here in the start menu. If I click on start and I scroll down, you'll see Microsoft 365 Copilot is back. And now, as you can see, it's loading Microsoft 365 Copilot for the very first time since I reinstalled it. And there you go. The Microsoft 365 Copilot is up and running on this computer. Now, you do not have to reinstall it if you don't want to have the Microsoft 365 Copilot. You can just leave it off of the computer. But if you do want it, try the repair first then the reset, and then if both of those fail, then just go ahead and remove it, and then we'll reinstall it with the Microsoft Store, and you can just go into the actual page right here, and then you would click on Get, and after it downloads it and installs it, you can just tell it to open. And then it'll open up, and you can sign in, and you can start using the Copilot that's built into the Microsoft 365. So I hope that was helpful on how you can repair, reset, or reinstall the Microsoft 365 Copilot if you're having any problems with it and you want to get it fixed. If you do have any questions about this, or maybe you just need me to go into a little bit more depth with you, I'll be more than happy to. Just let me know down below in the comments, and I'll be happy to get back to you. And if there's a video, topic, article, anything you'd like me to create a video on, please let me know that down below in the comments as well. And I will do my best to create that video for you. And if you found this helpful and you'd like to support this channel, I left a link in the video description where you can buy me a cup of coffee if you'd like to. And as always, because you all do such a great job, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll be glad to keep putting up more great content like How do I fix Microsoft 365 Copilot not opening correctly on my Windows computer? And I'll be more than happy to keep putting up all this great content for you all. Thanks so much, everybody. I really appreciate you all. I hope you have a great day. Take care. God bless, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.